Hi, welcome back everybody. Welcome back dreamers. How you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, well, I'm here sitting at my desk and um, I decided that I wanted to try to make something. I do have my rolly card over here, but I don't know if I have the right rolly card. <laughs> you know, when you have ideas of things to make and you kind of just Get all your stuff together to see what can make what. Um, I have different early cards with different things. So you're going to hear me rummaging the early cart that I have next to me. Hopefully you can hear me fine though. Um, I was thinking about passively some kind of mix media something. I'm not too sure. But like I said... I don't know if I have the right um, rolly cart for it. So, have you guys done anything today? Anything interesting? Um, I think I'm going to work with... Um, I'm going to put this away here, I think. Let's see. Well, this was in my bedroom. Maybe I can use one of these for the Dollar Tree. This was on my rolly card over here. Things I still haven't put away. Okay. And to my um, sticker sticker um, album. So let's see what we could possibly make. Maybe I can use this. I'm not too sure. We'll see. I'm going to put this here in front of me. All right. So I'm going to put this away. Definitely not going to use that. Let's use some paper clips. Let's use copper. I'll put these way over here. Go down here. I got my scissors. I got some stickers. If I need some paper, flat back paper to give me stability, I have these. I got them from my bedroom. I'm still shifting stuff from here to there. So let me pick out two. And then let's see what we can do with those two. I'm going to put this over here just in case I need some more. And then these are some flat backs. Um, Let's see. And they're purple. Let me, let me put them this way. And they have like some really pretty coloration, coloration, I should say, to them. Especially that one. Look at that one. That's gorgeous. So this is a possibility of things to create with. I don't know. But it's just nice to have. I do have this right here. So I can pull some objects from there and I have my little, little thing here. All right. And I got that paper stack right there that I can use. And I can use this little leftover piece that I had from my happy planner that I just did a day ago with you guys. Okay. And I have my glue. So let's see what we can do. Um, first things first, let me find... I have my little plate here in case I want to paint or color something. And um, yeah, as you can tell, this is I'm doing this very off the cuff. <laughs> I had not planned to do this at all. Not at all. So all this is very much unplanned. But that's some, sometimes that's our best um, our best times for creating is when things are not per se planned. Okay, I'm going to use this paper plate here and I'm going to shake this up here, get it away from the table. Um, some Art Deco outdoor paint because I want to grunge it just a little bit here. Let's do a little, little dabby dab. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. 
we got a little dabby dab of that one and um let's start grunging i'm gonna use this okay so as you can tell i'm just spacing it out and i'm just gonna start with getting color on it because you know i like my color what is going to be showing after all is done? I have no idea. So we'll just see like that. Okay, then I am going to let this sit for a moment over here off to the side and let's grungy grunge a, li a little bit more over here. Let's do the second tag. Again, feels great. Just being able to do something hodgepodge, you don't know what's going to happen. It's just wherever it takes you. There we go. And then let's do the back. Let's just do the back real fast because we don't know what exactly is going to be showing, what's not going to be showing, and we want it to kind of all jive and make sense. Okay, so that's the back of that one. And then let's do, it's too much white right there. Wait a minute, right there. And let's do the back of this one. Okay. All right, that looks fabulous. I think that looks great. I feel good about it. So let me just pull this over here to the side now. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna be using these. And um, I just shared these. These were from Hobby Lobby. I got them 40% off. Okay. Yeah. And it was $2.99. So 40% off of that one. So we're going to take out two. Because that's the plan. And these are huge. I mean, these are really nice and big. As you can tell. They're really nice and big. So we're going to work with that. Then, in order to know what direction we're going in, okay, all right, okay, so we have these stickers, so if we want to make something really nice and big, we can, something just, you know, kind of just huge and just very themey, we certainly can do that, I think I'm going to try to do that, the first one is going to be just really big and very themey. When I say themey, you know what I mean. Um, let's use this one on the corner because it's a little oblong. So let's go ahead and use this one, okay? And I think I definitely want to use this as the backing. And even with that, with the backing, I still want to have an opportunity to color this. Well, that looks really nice. I really like the way that looks. Okay. Now, besides doing just that, let's look at some of these trims. Okay. I'm just going to pull some of the trims out like so. Then I'm going to align it. But I don't know if I want to do a trim on the outside of it or right behind it. I'm going to figure it out. But I think I kind of want to leave it. I don't want to call it plain Jane, but I do kind of want to leave it plain Jane a little bit. So we're going to put her right here. And hopefully it'll stick and I don't need to glue it. So here we go. Hopefully it'll stick. I see I'm pushing down on it because it's corrugated. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and because we're going to attach it to this to this right here okay we're going to attach it normally we should hot glue it all right now i'm gonna cut it right there all right then i'm going to cut it right there right about here i would say we can always trim it a little bit more there we go. Let's see what it looks like. Look, I had two, two pieces in there. 
All right, that looks fairly good. Let me just tighten it up. Okay, and tighten it up right there. And a little bit right there. That looks great. Okay, so we have our one piece here, as you can tell. Let me leave it like that for you. I do have my hot glue gun. So let me line her up here. I did not turn it on yet because I didn't know if I was going to use it or not. So now that I know that she's going to be of some use, I'm moving my little thing here out of the way so I can get to my extension cord. There we go. Okay, so this should be on now. And this should be starting to get heated. So let's move. Should we do another big um? So let's do another big um. So we got both. We already took this out. That one would be a cool one to have. That one would be a really cool one to have just hanging there. But that would be really cool as well. I kind of like the phone. I really like this big old phone, but I like the light bulb too. So, um, I want to do the big phone. So let's do this big phone. I know it's going to be really big, but it's going to be fun. And it's going to look cool on a book. It's going to look very cool on a book. So let's go ahead and cut her. Let's go ahead and cut that up. And then we're going to trim her up right here. There we go. And then we'll trim her up right down, about right there. Okay. There's two of them. So I got to keep all these pieces. Because we can use all these pieces at a later time. Okay. So we have the big old phone. And the way I'm seeing it, it's still not really adhering very well to it. I need to either push it down, I'm going to have to glue it. I'm going to have to glue. I might have to glue. I might have to glue this, you guys. I know, because it's corrugated, so it's not flat. So it's leaving a lot of air space in there. I can always put some um, art glue on it as well. Let me move these out of the way. Now, before we move on, because as you can see, that's going to be a really big piece right there. That's going to be a really big piece right there. So we're going to want to probably put it up here, somewhere up there, closer to the top. Just like so. But do we want to have any anything, you know, anything added to it I don't think so I kind of like it just the way it is I, I actually just kind of like it just the way it is okay this is getting warm so let's see what we can do here let me add a little hot glue on the back of this so I can make sure this it this adheres okay there we go and put a little hot glue back there. There we go. Maybe a little bit right behind this one right here. Right behind that one. There we go. And then drop that down. Okay. Maybe behind this one. There's a little bit right there. All right. And then whatever strings that we have, no worries. We'll take care of that later. All right, then I'm going to add this towards the top because I really want it to hide that top. I really want it to hide that top right there. So we're going to we're going to do hot glue all around the edge here. And we're going to kind of want to move a little fast. We're going to move a little fast. Okay? So let's go ahead and move a little fast here. Again, I kind of want it to go all the way on the top, make sure it's centered, and just drop it. 
It may not be perfect, but again, this is your book. And nothing has to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect at all. Because this is this is your creation. Now what we can do in the back is we can cover this up just like so back here. If you want to, you don't have to, but you can. You could just cover it up just like so. But um, I'll do it this way and let's see what happens because I'll kind of push it down a little bit. Plus, I'll put it a little bit here on the metal. So let's see how we can do that. Let's see. This is the first time I'm doing it like this, you guys. So we're learning right along with each other. Okay. We have our little first, first piece here. I still want to fuzzy cut it a little bit more, but it's not really going to let me get in there. Or is it? Okay. So we have we have our first one right here. And I definitely need to clean it up a little bit more. Each time I look at it, I can see <laughs> the little piece. It's like talking to me, you know? Okay. There we go. All right. So this is our first piece. So let's see. I wanted to leave enough space there so it could sit so i left enough space i'm able to leave enough space see it's not going anywhere see that so it's going to work in one of my books one of my junk journals just it's sticking out and looking really cool now this is the time if i want to add some more hot glue to this i can which i feel like i am and let me hold it down a little bit here there we go. Perfect. Okay, so there's my first piece. Now let's work on this one. Do it. All right, so let's see what it's going to look like on our, actually on my, I'm going to leave my hot glue gun on just in case I need to do a touch up. Where's my, um, here we go. Here is my junk journal. I do have another one. I have another junk journal um, that I've already uh, started, but I put away and I don't know where in the world I put it, but I, I wanted to put these in here because I want to add more things. So I'll give you an example for like this one. It'll go like that. It can go like this. Okay. You see that? Then we'll close that and you see it's holding it beautifully and then we can if I want to do a page holder for, say, this one, because this has more of a Victorian look to it. Let me try to get around some of this fabric because I have lots of layers. I'm going to put this one a little bit closer there. Okay. Actually, I need to do it more on the outside, I think, right here. There we go. So that's more like my Victorian page. Now I could also put it out here on the sides. So I don't have to put it up here at the top. But that's how they would look on my book. Now you can do these inside of a tag, inside of a book. If you have a tag, you can slide them inside of a tag. And you see how cool that would look inside of a tag? I don't think I have any tags in here. I don't have any tags that I've made. But if this was like a tag, I could have like tag this right in there and it, this one would have been really cool with a tag right there right that would have looked really nice with a tag and then me sliding that in there so you see you have lots of possibilities i'm trying to see if i have a tag in there no i don't have no tag this one would have been cool too if i had a tag in this one but i can still add this onto this page and it'll still look cool see and then we'll close the book and i'll know where to look and then I can add other things hanging out from the book so if you enjoyed that I hope you liked it and um, like I said you can put this inside tags it doesn't have to go on the top um, and it'll make your your projects look really cool okay so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to y'all later bye